All right, guys, so this is an app called uh, Let Me Talk. Uh, you can find it in the App Store. Uh, but basically, you can also find it on Google Play as well if you have an Android device. But basically, it's a communication app. Uh, unfortunately, since I'm screen mirroring on my own computer, uh, when I touch the buttons on the iPad, I don't think you're going to be able to hear them on the video uh, at home. So basically, just to, just know that when you're actually using the app, I'm gonna, I suggest you go test it, out, test it out. Whenever you hit a button and then hit play, it's going to say that message out loud for you. So uh, basically, a uh, computer-generated voice will say, I want ham, whenever your kid hits the play button. So that way, you will know what they want. Um... But, you know, it is kind of basic, you know, you've just got just a few menus, food and drink, you know, you see there's not a lot of stuff in there, you know, not a lot for toys. So uh, there's not a lot going on here, but you do have a few buttons for academic tasks. You got some colors, you got numbers, you got some ABCs and your shapes. And uh, I added this one earlier for activities. So let me show you how you can add a button. So on the basic one, you're not going to see that. I added that activities menu. Uh, so if you want to add a new category, so you hit add new category from that little plus sign in the top right hand corner. Then you can click and hold on it. And you can search new category image. And it'll pull this up. So let's uh, let's look for school. You can put in a button for like a category for school. We're gonna rename that category. We're gonna call that school. And. Uh, if you want to add some buttons in there, you can either do it from searching an image. So you can have bus. Let's see if we can find a school bus. Well, not a school bus. So if you can't find a school bus, you can try it a different way. You can either take it from a photo or like a photo that you've uh, from your actual camera app or from an, add an image from a get, uh, from your gallery. So you could do that. See, well, let's go to food and add those in the food menu. But let's, you know, let's just add the bus real quick. Doesn't have to be a school bus. Maybe let's see, they got backpack too. Nope, so you'd have to take some pictures of that. All right, um, so it doesn't seem to have a lot of preloaded images, but the fact that it has access to the camera makes it very valuable. Uh, so let's go back to food. Let's add an image from a gallery. You can take a picture with your camera, but then you're not gonna be able to crop it out. So unless you got the camera up real close to it, you're gonna have a lot of stuff surrounding the picture. I recommend getting as much of a single object in a picture as you can. So as you can see, I've cropped both of, both of these images in here. So uh, we got peanut butter. And let's add another one. And it did kind of squash my image. So try to make it square when you crop it if you don't want to get a funny looking picture. And I got instant ramen. So I'm just going to call that ramen. And now I got two buttons. So now I could say, um, I want ramen. And just imagine that computer generated voice saying, I want ramen when the kid hits the play button for whatever they want. Uh, so they basically, you know, we're going to want to honor requests uh, whenever they uh, communicate using this form of communication. If we've got the thing, great. Well, let's say you've got something on here that you don't want or your kid's got a dietary restriction and you need to delete it. Say your kid can't eat cheese. Well, guess what? You can just touch the button, hold it down until this menu pops up. 
Now you can just delete it, all gone. Uh, or, you know, I wouldn't recommend deleting a button of your kid's favorite thing just because they're annoying you. That would be unethical. Uh, you wouldn't put tape over someone's mouth just because they won't won't stop saying something. So it's kind of the same thing in, you know, but just, it just, you know, sometimes you got to deal with it. Um, but it's great that they're using that as a form of communication than whatever they were doing before that. Um, and let's see, uh, a few more things. Let's see. I think I just showed you that. So add a cat, add an image. So add a category. We'll add a new category. Add image from gallery. We'll add a new image from gallery. You can name it whatever you want. And uh, or you can search an image from the gallery and and pick it pick whatever you want so they got a lot of different stuff you can move that out of the way oh that one was cool because when you click on it, let's delete that i'm going to show you that again move the thing out of the way so you search an image whichever one you pick it's going to give you sometimes it's going to give you some options on what to name it so you can name this one mattress or waterbed so you say water uh, whichever choice you pick, that's going to be the one that displays at the bottom, and then when they say it, that's the message that the computer-generated voice is going to generate. Um, basically, I would recommend, if you got access to, a, this is the probably the cheapest and quickest way, if you have a smartphone already, to start working on communication at home. Uh, basically, I just say, if you want to get it out, um, Start working on food and drinks, stuff that's highly motivating, toys. So what you do, you get a couple of items out at the table and you show them, ask them, what do you want? And, uh, you know, if they're asking for something that's not there, you might have to show, or you may have to show them the first couple of times. You might have to pick their hand up and have them touch an item and then actually give it to them. And then they'll start to see, oh, if I touch this, these pictures on this device, I'm going to get the thing that I asked for. So uh, a lot of kids in our, our in my classroom in particular have already been exposed to this technology. So like if you want to incorporate it at home and your kid is nonverbal, I would highly recommend trying this out. Not every, It doesn't work for every kid. Some kids aren't screen kids. They just don't like to look at screens. But you could use something similar just like with these types of images. But like... Uh, you know, on paper. And if you're looking for paper copies of, of this type of stuff, just get, just uh, contact me and we can talk about getting you some personalized materials that way. All right. Uh, I'm going to post this on YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.